Okay, welcome to another video. So I'm sure most of you have seen the announcement from System76 about some changes coming in Pop! OS version 21.04, which is to be released in June. Now the big thing that we're going to be talking about here is of course Cosmic. So I've got it all installed natively and ready to go so we can check it out as it currently stands. Bearing in mind it's still going to go through some more refinement before it gets its final release. Before we jump straight into that though, let's have a quick glance at the release notes and then we'll get into it. So starting with what is Cosmic. We're providing a home desktop user experience in Pop! OS through our known based desktop environment Cosmic. It's a refined solution that makes the desktop easier to use, yet more powerful and efficient for our users through customization. The new designs are developed from extensive testing and user feedback since Pop! OS 20.04 and are currently being further refined in the testing phase. We've separated the activities overview into two distinct views, workspaces and applications. As before, the workspaces view will allow you to view your open windows and workspaces, while the applications view will open an application picker. The latter's new dark background looks slick as a tuxedo and makes it easier to scan for your desired application. So in Cosmic, the super key activates the launcher by default. Using the launcher, you can launch or switch applications, execute a command and calculate an equation. It's like your own personal mission control. So that sounds pretty cool as well. So we have a dock now. So over 56% of Pop! OS users surveyed say they use dash to dock or dash to panel. And actually, when I'm using a known desktop environment, I'm also someone that tends to install dash to dock. So we've seen the dock signal shine bright in the night sky and we will answer the call with glorious triumph. Cosmic brings the option to have a dock to the settings in Pop! OS. Users will be able to configure their dock to be on the right, left or bottom of their screen. It can stretch from edge to edge and given the ability to auto hide. Users will also have the ability to minimize windows to the dock. We'll provide more details as we approach Pop! OS 21.04's June release. So it then goes into a bit of detail about the two workflows with mouse driven and keyboard driven. So the popularity of mouse driven workflow has long shaped the user experience and set expectations for veteran users. Cosmic maintains long time UI practices to keep Pop! OS comfortable and familiar. Mouse driven users can take advantage of features like the dock, minimize and maximize buttons and hot corners. And then we also have a bit of information there about keyboard driven workflows as well. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it and check things out. And here we are at our new Cosmic desktop. Now this is a completely fresh native install, which means I haven't gone super crazy and made a whole lot of changes. And we can experience the out of the box look and feel of Cosmic as it's currently presented to us. All I have done is change the default wallpaper and install a few additional applications that I'll need to record and edit this video. As you can see under OS, it says Pop! OS version 21.04. Remembering this is ahead of its final release come June and there may still be some further refinements to come our way. With that being said, let's start taking a look around. So we're going to start by looking through things not in the tiling windows mode. So we're just going to sort of have standard kind of free floating windows. And then about halfway through, we'll check out how it all works with the tiling windows enabled as well. So the out-of-the-box look is actually quite nice. I don't mind the way the dock's been set up, especially with the edge-to-edge. -edge. It's kind of a bit more like a panel as opposed to a dock, but we can go into the settings and shrink it all down, which we'll get into in just a moment. I think where we're going to start is at the very top left of our panel with the workspaces and applications buttons now in their own separated sections. So clicking workspaces will then open up your workspace view with your workspaces to the left, and then your sort of applications corresponding with that workspace in the main section of your screen. Now nothing's really too dissimilar here in the way you can manage your windows for GNOME so you can still drag and drop things and of course by default it is going to sort of be dynamic workspaces to create new workspaces as and when you need them. I don't know if we can still search here though let's give it a go let me just see if I can type anything I can. So at the moment typing any characters while you're in workspaces view will then jump straight over into the applications view and then let you search for and launch those applications. And then backspacing all of that has now brought us straight back to the workspaces view. Interesting. Now what we're gonna do is go straight into applications and here is our new sort of refined application picker. So we've got a nice dark colored background to make our sort of applications pop out and make them easier to find. 
especially when you're sort of driving it over a mouse and not using your search bar at the top. Now we should still be able to sort of drag things around and sort of put them in any folder as we want. So nothing's changed so far in that sort of way. Now what I think we're going to do is spend a little bit of time playing around with our dock at the bottom. So let's close that off for now. So by default, I do believe it's set to always appear on your screen. So let's open up a new application in files. And then let's go ahead and full screen this application. And then there you can see that's what it's going to look like while you've got a full screen application and you don't have auto hide enabled. Now we should just be able to right click on this to add to favorites. So I don't think it's going to behave too dissimilarly from just sort of Ubuntu dock or dash to dock. So we can add settings to our favorites and it's going to move that along. And there we have an application that's not in our favorites, but it's currently running in the background. Okay. So I think what we're going to do then is jump straight into the settings. But before we do that, we also have a few more additional buttons down here now as well. So we have the same buttons for workspaces and applications, which is here and here. But then we have the button here for show launcher. So as you can see, doing that or pressing the super key, I don't think mine's assigned to that though. No, mine's assigned to the workspaces view at the moment. So clicking that or pressing the super key if you've got it assigned, will then open this view up in the middle of your screen with a search bar at the top and then a list of running applications just beneath it. Now you'll notice that whenever you go over an application that's on that workspace, it's going to highlight that application's window. As OBS isn't on this workspace, nothing is now highlighted. And you can also see that as well as just clicking onto it, we can go straight into those applications. It also has sort of keyboard shortcuts corresponding on the sort of position of the list. So we've currently got control one all the way to four. So we should just be able to press control and four and it'll go straight to that application. And that should also work across workspaces. So we've got OBS here. So let's press control three and that should traverse to the other workspace and then focus at application window. Okay, very cool, that's quite handy. Now let's go back into this workspace here and now we're gonna open up the settings. So here we are for under desktop, we've got quite a few options here and the main one we're gonna be spending our time on is docs. So if we scroll up, here we've got the option to show docs so we can get rid of the dock entirely so we can have a completely clean sort of vanilla, Nox, uh, vanilla gnome sort of experience. And we can also choose what display we wanna show it on. So we can have primary, all displays or to do, and we can also automatically hide the docs. Let's go ahead and do that now. And it should be intelligent hide, which means that when anything, any sort of application window comes close to it or it's full screened, it should hide that dock and it should have a nice smooth animation. So let's give that a go of a full screen. And there we go, a nice clean sort of animation from it sliding away and sliding back. And it should also work if you go too close to it with an application window. So for now, I'm gonna leave it on always on the screen. And then as we can see here, we have the extend dock to edges of the screen. So let's do that now and it should shrink it into a more dock like thing. And it sort of followed the whole sort of design queue of GNOME 40, where it's not actually at the very bottom of your screen, it's sort of floating there. And we have some nice rounded corners. So we've got a few more options in the dock options here. So we can show launcher icon in dock to do applications icon as well as the workspaces icon and then scrolling down okay so for dock sizes it has some pre-configured sizes for small medium and large we're currently on medium so let's test out small and then large but we can also do a custom size so small isn't too bad and now it's gone to large and now let's try a custom size because i like my docks even smaller than 36 let's test it out with 28 Okay, I think that's all right, so I'm gonna leave it on 28. Now for the positioning, we can change it to the bottom left or right sides of the screens. Let's have a go on the left. And now let's full screen an application and see how that looks like. Not forgetting that we can, of course, just automatically hide it as well. Okay, now let's check it out on the right. I've never usually have it on the right, but let's have a look. There we go, so I think this is pretty much just like dash to dock or Ubuntu dock or something but it's nice to have all of the settings inside your GNOME settings there, easy to get to and play around with things. So far, I think this is a pretty nice implementation. So let's put it back at the bottom. And is that all of the settings we've got here? So that's pretty much everything in the settings that we do actually have for the dock. So I think what I want to do now is enable the tiling window and see how it all works with the window tile. Okay, so what I've gone ahead and done is I've reset all of the settings for the dock back to their default, so how they were when we first started and I've enabled the tile windows mode so we can see how it all works now that we are in tiling. I've also now got the left super key 
bound to our application launcher. So what we're going to do is use that launcher to launch a few applications starting with files and we're also going to use it to launch Firefox. So that should open it up onto the right side of the screen and that's what it's going to look like when you've got the panel or the dock at the default size of I do believe 46. What we're going to do now is go back into our workspace view and see how it all looks now that we've got the windows nice symmetrical sizes and tiling. So let's jump back into our settings and before I go into the dock there are a few more settings that we can do in the workspaces however I don't think a lot of it is working just yet so we do have placement of the works, workspace picker, multi-monitor behavior and then of course things for our dynamic workspaces. So we're going to go back into the dock view and just make sure there's no funniness going on with the automatically hide and then we'll wrap it up there with some final thoughts. So we're going to go to automatically hide the dock and now we're just going to test it out by opening up another application on this workspace. So we're going to open up disks. Okay, so it opened it up briefly when there wasn't a sort of window interacting with it, but then when it realized there was a new window there, it disappeared quickly with a nice smooth animation. And here we are in the extensions package for GNOME. And as you can see, there is the new extension that's making all of this new stuff happen, which is of course Pop Cosmic. Now we can disable that and get back to a more stock kind of experience. Let's test that out now. So as you can see at the moment, we have the two separated sections for workspaces and applications. And we have the dock there at the bottom, but I think disabling this will still be able to play around with the docks. Let's give that a go. So bye bye. And now, as you can see, we just have the activities button now and our workspace picker has now been moved back to the right hand side of the screen as opposed to the left. But you see, we still have the option to play around with the dock. Now, if we were to go into the settings, we should still be able to do the auto hide and all of that good stuff for our dock. So here we go. So we're currently automatically hiding and there is our dock once more. So let's just re-enable that and I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Okay, so that's been my first look at Pop! OS's Cosmic as it currently stands ahead of its final release which will be making its way into Pop! OS version 21.04 expected to land sometime around June. And all in all, I have actually really enjoyed my time with it. I think they've done a good job at making them a bit easier to use out of the box regardless of whether you're a keyboard or a mouse driven user. I wouldn't quite call it a new desktop environment, at least not yet anyway, but I'm excited to see this progress and see where it takes us. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. And if you've really enjoyed it, you can support me on Patreon and also join the Discord. There's a link in the description. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.